Now, cash-strapped Pakistan's economy is in doldrums, and data from the country's economic survey suggests that the economy has failed to achieve any of the targets it set for 2022-2023. Pakistan announces its budget in just a li little while from now and Pakistan's GDP growth rate crashed to 0.3% in 2022-23 as political instability and natural disaster dragged the country. The nation had set 5% growth target for the year. The report added that flood damages and rehabilitation will cost the Pakistan GDP about $14.9 billion and $16.3 billion respectively. The country's per capita income stood at $1,568 in 2022 and 2023 compared to $1,756 in 2021-22. Now that's largely due to a weaker Pakistani rupee, lower GDP growth and rising population. Inflation, a major headache for the average Pakistani, continued to be very high in 2022-2023. The urban and rural core inflation in 2022-23 stood at about 16% and 20.1% respectively. Now, this was way more than the 7.8% urban and 8.6% rural inflation recorded in 2021-22. Pakistan's finance minister Ishak Dar blamed the Imran Khan government for the ballooning current account deficit, which shows that imports are more in value than exports. The fiscal deficit, he said, stood at about 5.8% in 2018. But then it reached 7.9% by 2022 when the Shehbaz Sharif government had to take over. A rising current account deficit is an indication that the country is unable to pay its import bills. Now for more on this, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik was asked what are the expectations from this budget as the economic survey which was released just yesterday wasn't very encouraging. This is what he had to say. Well, you rightly mentioned the economic service starts were not very encouraging. Uh, and today, Pakistan's annual budget is due to be presented by the finance minister, Ishaq Dar. In a short while from now, 4 p.m. Pakistan time is when the National Assembly session gets underway. 3 p.m. is when the federal cabinet is due to meet and do a federal cabinet uh, approval of the budget before it is presented. Now, what we're looking at uh, the budget is uh, not such a people-friendly budget, uh, though this is an election year because uh, we have to keep in mind that there is a serious economic crisis at hand that the country is currently dealing with. So it has to, the government has to walk a very tight rope in between prudence and popularism. Uh, if it gives uh, a popular budget, then it has to say bye-bye to, bye to the IMF, goodbye to the IMF, and uh, things would not be in an ideal most scenario uh, going forward economically. If it gives a prudence-based budget uh, or abiding or adhering to the IMF demands, then uh, it uh, then it could co possibly cause troubles for the common people and for elections that are due to be held sometime in October or November. Therefore, the government has a tight rope to walk on and it would be very interesting to see what lines uh, would this budget be on but what as what we understand there are more taxes on non-filers there are there is some race in tax slabs uh, the uh, the upper class of the society has been slapped with more taxes an elaboration on that will be done by the finance minister himself during his budget speech yes now, Pakistan's budget will also be crucial as it will be released amid political instability that is ongoing in the country, of course. Anas Malik decodes that for us. Well, indeed, Pakistan faces one of its most turbulent times politically and economically. Uh, there is practically no opposition in, in uh, the House right now. Uh, with that being said, there is real opposition on the roads and that 
from the Pakistan Tehreek-e Insaf, a dismantled Pakistan Tehreek-e Insaf. With that being said, the government also takes note of the fact that how uh, uh, common people has suffered in the past one year of it taking charge. So therefore, it will be very crucial. As I said, we have uh, this is an election year. Uh, and the assemblies are due to be dissolved on the 12th of August. So we're looking at elections on uh, uh, sometime in uh, October or in November. With that being said, uh, this budget will be very crucial, uh, will be very important because uh, in case if it is not a populist budget, then the government or the incumbent government loses votes, loses support and loses, uh, loses its popularity, whatever that it has among common men and among common people. So therefore, this budget will be very, very closely washed out as to how it pans out and what implications it has into the nitty gritty that might directly or indirectly affect the common man. Yes.